This episode of App Judgment is brought to you by Netflix. Go to www.netflix.com slash AJ for your free trial. Welcome to App Judgment, your source for mobile application reviews and news. I'm Mauricio Balvanera. I'm Graham. And we're taking a look at Find My iPhone today because, to be honest, Graham and I are experts at tracking down lost or stolen, specifically stolen iPhones. Yes. Uh, back last fall, I, I had an iPhone 3G. Mm -hmm. um, and I waited a while to upgrade to the iPhone 3GS. But what prompted me was we were at a party, right. uh, a going away party for a, an em employee here at Revision here in 3, San Francisco. Um, in downtown San Francisco. And my iPhone 3G was stolen. Right. right. And not broad daylight because yeah. it was at nighttime. But literally, we were sitting down, and a guy walked into the bar, sat down right next to me, didn't order a drink or anything. Mm -hmm. And the next thing I know, this guy gets up, and I don't have my phone anymore. Suave pickpocket so, pick, pick move, yeah. So it was a perfect opportunity to field test mobile me's uh, right. find, find my iPhone. This was, of course, before the application on the iPhone or iPad came out. I, for some reason, had my computer on me. I think I came directly from the office to the bar and I had my laptop. So we opened mm -hmm. up uh, MobileMe and um, were actually able to track down the phone yes. just a few blocks away. So I think Craig and I went on this vigilante run to find this guy. Um, but, but backing up a little bit, tell us how, how MobileMe works. Well, basically, um, MobileMe is a, a suite of software or web software that Apple makes available. Um, for 99 bucks a year, right. which to some people that may be like a shock, like whoa, 99 bucks a year for, yeah. for what yeah. exactly? Well, what they let you do is they have a, a, a great web interface for mail, mm -hmm. uh, calendars, your contacts can be synced directly to MobileMe. But the cool thing is if you have MobileMe, you can connect your phone, your laptop, any number of Apple devices to MobileMe, right. and everything wirelessly syncs yeah. together. So you yeah. never have to really sync your phone. If you add, uh, if I added a new contact to my contact list, it would automatically sync to my iPad, mm -hmm. to my laptop. Mm -hmm. That's the best part about it. To me, right. that's what makes the service worth it. So, so Find My iPhone is, is not really a new product from MobileMe. It's just kind of an extended an application that's an extension of an already existing yeah. feature of, of MobileMe. Right. So let, let's let's take a look. Sure. What you do, um, like uh, like we said earlier, the mo the Find My iPhone service was originally just a web app. It was right. just a way for you to log in on MobileMe.com or Me.com on the web and find where your iPhone is. Now right. they've released this iPhone app mm -hmm. and this iPad app. It's sync it'll sync to both devices. Mm -hmm. When you open it up, it gives you a list of all of the, the devices that you've registered in right. your mobile me account, which for me it's kind of ridiculous. There's about four of them. Now how does this work though? Because we've got the iPad here and, and, and the, the touch, which doesn't use, so from what I understand, to find your iPhone it uses cell triangulation. Mm -hmm. But what about Wi-Fi devices? How is it finding it actually, the, the service I think was called Skyhook before Apple, or I think Apple just licenses the technology from Skyhook. Okay. And it is a triangulation service that if, if you're connected to Wi-Fi, mm -hmm. this service can find out where that router is. Got it. And so if you just have a Wi-Fi device like an iPod Touch, yeah. it can find the router that it's connected to and triangulate that. Okay. So, okay, because there's a lot of questions about that in, in the, when, you, when you open up the, um, the application page on, on iTunes, there's a lot of... I don't get it. You know why? Right. How does it work on? Okay, so that that helps a lot. Um, so so when you, when we open it here, you'll see a list of all your devices. Right. So when you open it, it automatically goes out and tries to find every single one of them. Okay. Well, my iPod Touch is off, so it's not going to find it. It has it has a little red dot. Right. And it's having no luck it there. It says locating. So it's it's a actively trying to find it right now. Right. It found my iPhone 4 because I'm holding it right now. Right. It's connected to the internet. Right. My iPad's sitting right here, so it found it there. Mm -hmm. um, also, my old iPhone 3GS, which I replaced uh, just last week, mm -hmm. it's off too. So that's why it can't find it. Okay. So if you're a thief and you're looking to steal phones, the way to circumvent this whole thing is turn the phone off. Right. That so. makes sense, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. But here's, here's the thing you can do. Once you have found your phone, let's say your phone was stolen, once you've found it, uh, you can tap on it here. It shows it shows you a little icon on the map. Mm -hmm. Once you tap on it, you have a couple of options. Right. You can display a message on the phone, 
which you can be like, hey, jerk, give me my phone back. Right. And, <laughs> but, you know, they're just going to close it. You can Doesn't play a sound. Well. Okay. You can play a sound, and it's a very loud and annoying sound. Okay. So if you're in a relatively quiet area, you might be able to pinpoint where this guy is, right. uh, and he right. can't turn it off because... Uh, because it it, it, don't, it sounds for a certain amount of time and you can't you can't turn it off. Right. You can also remote lock the phone, mm -hmm. which is pretty handy and is exactly what you should do if your phone gets stolen. Right. If you don't already have a passcode on your phone, you can remote lock it and then nobody can get into your information. Okay. Um, what happened? The end of the story uh, that we told earlier was the was what ended up happening is we were thinking about tracking it down. Yeah. And they were like, well, confronting a thief in the back alleys of San Francisco exactly. doesn't exactly, exactly sound like a great I, idea. I felt Pretty good running down the street, you know, <laughs> trying to find this guy. But um, you know, slowly started realizing, what if I actually fi find this guy? What are you going to do? What am I going to do? It's 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 stupid. You know, you hear, you hear these stories of people uh, being a vigilante and going out and 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 finding their phone, and they're great stories because you know they got they they got theirs. But honestly, dumb move. If, if your phone is stolen, if, if your phone is lost, great. If it's stolen. There's a specific case in Florida where someone handed the information over to the police and the police took care of it and they got it. That's the way, they do, that's the way to do it. Right. Otherwise, this is kind of one of the problems that I have with, well, I, I should ask you, is, is this a download or no download? For me, it's a download because you get all of the wireless syncing. Yeah. Every time I get a new iDevice, a new uh -huh. phone, I can just sign into my mobile me and all my contacts okay. are automatically downloaded with pictures, profile pictures and everything. It's great. Okay. Um, so for me, it's a, it's a download. Even though the app is free, mm -hmm. it's 99 bucks a year. Right. To me, it's worth it. Um, and, event, and they just keep improving the service. Okay. So. I, yeah, I got to say, um, Android does this with mobile defense absolutely for free. Um, the, the whole this, the, the application is free, but you have to pay hundred dollars. You, you shouldn't get Mobile Me for hundred dollars unless you're go actually going to use the, the the mail service right. and, and the the um, the iDisk um, syncing service and, and, and the whole suite. Um, this is not you know it's it's kind of free. It, it is free, kind of not. <laughs> um, but the thing for me, I you know I'm kind of leaning towards the don't download because it should be it just should be a free service right. because. Of, there's applications out there that do it for free. Um, right. Android does it for free. Most Google web apps do exactly what MobileMe does. You can sync your Google Calendar now wirelessly to yeah. your iPhone, yeah. just like MobileMe Calendar yeah. uh, does now. So Very cool. Yeah. OK, well, we got a download and we got a meh. So <laughs> there you have it. Uh, it w tell us your stories. Uh, send us an email at appjudgment at revision3.com. Let us know if you've had any success stories or any boohoo stories about uh, losing your iPhone. You can also check us out on Twitter, YouTube, Facebook, and at our homepage at revision3.com slash appjudgment. Good luck finding your phone. See you next time. Netflix delivers movies directly to your home, saving you time, money, and hassle. As a Netflix Unlimited member, you get DVDs by mail in about one business day. Plus, you can instantly watch thousands of TV episodes and movies streamed directly to your PC, Macs, or right to your TV via a Netflix-ready device like the Xbox 360, PS3, and the Nintendo Wii. Watch as many movies as you want. Shipping is free, and there are never any late fees or due dates. Keep the movies for as long as you like. DVDs by mail, plus instantly right to your TV. Get unlimited movies two ways for only $8.99 a month. As a new member and as an App Judgment viewer, you can get a free tryout membership. Go to www.netflix.com slash AJ and sign up now. Be sure to use this URL so that they know we sent you.